Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read All Aboard Level 4, uh, Unit 10. Nature. Activity 1, listen and repeat. Waterfall, cactus, palm tree, cave, coconut, stream, leaf, sand. Activity 2. Read and complete. Then listen and check. Todd and Tara have lost stick. They look around. What a beautiful place. There is a tall palm tree uh, next to a, a waterfall with fresh clean water. The four coconuts have fallen from the tree onto the sand. There is a a cave in the stream. There's a cactus with yellow flowers and next to it uh, there's a there's a waterfall. There's a cave behind the waterfall. Oh there's a leaf in the stream. Activity Page 85, Activity 1, read and listen to the story, then act it out. Todd and Tara have drunk some water from the stream. I don't get it, I'm still thirsty. That's because it's virtual reality. It isn't real water. Number 2, there's Stig and Luke. He's with Uncle Marvin. At last, I have found you. Come on, my apartment is this way. Hooray, we're going home. What a relief. I've been very worried about you. We have had an amazing adventure. We have seen dinosaurs. But his Uncle Marvin, he's gone. He wasn't really there. It was virtual reality. Sorry, activity two. Choose true or false. What have Todd and Terra done since unit one? Number one, they have seen dinosaurs. Number two, they have swum in the ocean. Three, they have ridden a horse. Four, they have eaten apple pie. Five, they have slept in a barn. Six, they have lost a magic watch. Look, see, seen, ride, ridden, sleep, slept, swim, swam, eat, eaten, lose, lost. Page 86. Have you ever, uh, activity one, complete the song. Have you ever ridden an elephant? Have you ever swum in a, a stream? Have you ever eaten a coconut? Have you ever made ice cream? Have you ever lost your English English book? Have you ever found a ring? Have you ever seen a, a kangaroo? Have you ever met a king? Activity 2. Listen and check. Then listen and sing. Activity 3. Ask and answer the questions in the song. Pronunciation Activity 4. Find the words that rhyme. Then listen and practice. Number one, name, game. Number two, sand. Number three, train. Number four, head, set. Five, paid, made. Sand, friend. Train, rain. Activity, uh, page 87, lesson four. Activity one. Geography, guess, then listen and find out. Where do you find tropical rainforest? Activity 2, read and choose, then listen and check. Rainforests grow in hot countries with a lot of rain. These countries are near the equator. The largest rainforest is the Amazon rainforest. It covers 7 million square kilometers. More than half of the different animals and plants in the world live in the rainforest. Most of the animals live on the ground. Some of them live in the trees. The rainforests are very important to our world because the trees give us oxygen. But they are in danger. People have cut down millions of trees and used the land for farms. The rainforests have given us a lot of useful things. About a quarter of all medical drugs originally came from rainforest plants and trees.
Activity 3. Answer the questions in your own words. Number 1. Where are the rainforests? Number 2. What can you find in the rainforest? Number 3. Why are the rainforests important? Page 88. Activity 1. Read and number the pictures. Number 1. Nick and Stan are visiting Uncle Seth. Seth used to live in the city. But now he lives in the country. He moved to the country five years ago and bought a farm. He has a red tractor. Number two, four years ago, Uncle Seth started to grow fruit. That summer, he started to sell fruit jelly. It's delicious. Nick and Stan arrived at Uncle Seth's farm on Monday. It's now Friday. They have only spoken to their mom once. She called Nick and Stan on Tuesday. Number four, the weather was fantastic when Nick and Stan arrived at the farm, but it changed on Wednesday. It started to rain and it's still raining. Activity two, choose for or since. Number one, Seth has grown fruit for four years. Number two, Seth has sold fruit jelly since last summer. Number three, Nick and Stan have been at the farm for four days. Number four, they haven't spoken to their mom for three days. Number five, the weather has been wet since Wednesday. Activity three, look and write. Number one, Uncle Seth has had a TV since January. Number two, has had a bike two years. Uncle Seth has had a bike for two years. Number three, Uncle Seth hasn't played soccer since Tuesday. Uh, the box in the in the middle, look box, Seth has lived in the country for five years. Momo, Toan, since Momo Euro. Nick and Stan have been at the farm since Monday. Page 89. Read Lucy's email. Answer the question. Hi. I am working really hard at school. I only started at this school last September because we moved to this town a year ago. Our Spanish teacher left the school in December. We have had a new teacher since January. Her name is Mrs. Travis. She's really nice and she doesn't give us tests very often. In fact, we haven't had a Spanish test since February, but we're going to have one tomorrow. So I have to do some more work. See you soon, Lucy. Number one, how long has Lucy lived in her town? Number two, how long has she been at, at a school? Number three, how long has she had Mrs. Travis for Spanish? Number four, when was her last Spanish test? Number two, activity two, what about you? Answer the questions. Number one, how long have you lived in your town? Number two, how long have you been at your school? Number three, how long have you had the same English teacher? Number four, when was your last English test? Activity three, complete the email to Lucy. Hi Lucy, thanks for your, e for your email. I have lived in this town for blank years. I have blank, we haven't had an English test since blank. Good luck on your Spanish test. Page 90, Sabina Superhero. Sabina and Tyler are on a field trip for their geography class. This cave hasn't changed for millions of years. Mr. Draper explains, suddenly there's a noise. Outside, some rocks have fallen down the mountain. They are blocking the cave. Nobody can get out. Maybe we can find another way out of the cave. Sabina says to Tyler, when Mr. Draper isn't looking, Sabina and Tyler go to the back of the cave. They see a stream. There's a leaf in the water, says Sabina. The stream comes from outside the cave. The water comes through a tiny hole. Sabina takes a deep breath and blows onto the water. It becomes ice. Ice is bigger than water, she explains. It's making the hole bigger. She blows again and the ice becomes water. They all climb out through the hole in the rock. 
it is strange, Mr. Draper says. I've been here a lot of times, but I have never seen that hall. Can I tell him what happened? Tyler asks Sabina. No, you can, Sabina says. Activity to answer the question. Picture one, why can't they leave the, leave the cave? Picture two, how does uh, Sabina know that the stink stream comes from outside? Picture three, how does Sabina make the hole bigger? Picture four, why does Mr. Draper say it's strange? The end.